Welcome. Here's what we're talking about today. Standards and best practices together equal exceptional instruction. We know this from research and experience. So we'd assume teacher training programs are applying this information to their courses. But here's the thing. There's a gap in teacher preparation. We've been hearing this from teachers over the years. Here's what one teacher had to say. In my experience, there's a noticeable gap in how teachers are being trained. Most of us were taught the same general teaching practices, but a lot of teachers were never taught how to put it all together. So we all approach planning differently, especially when it comes to using standards, which causes inconsistencies in how we teach our students. Part of the gap is that most programs offer courses like these in best practices, but the practices are often taught in isolation. Part of the gap is a variation in lesson planning courses. Some programs have courses in lesson planning, but they don't all cover the same components or teach standards-based lesson planning the same way. Some programs offer courses that show how to incorporate multiple best practices, but they don't also show how to apply them to standards-based lesson planning. So that's where the Instructional Framework for 21st Century Educators comes in. It addresses this gap by providing a unified approach that shows how to plan and deliver standards-based lessons for kindergarten through eighth grade while simultaneously incorporating best teaching practices. One teacher who was trained on the IF said, backward planning to multiple standards was completely new to me. It makes so much sense, but I was never taught how to teach this way. And getting into the routine of intentionally planning this way while also incorporating all the best practices has been a game changer. So what exactly is the instructional framework and how was it developed? The IF is research informed, drawing from the top tools and frameworks in education. It utilizes the Common Core State Standards and the Maryland College and Career Ready Standards for English Language Arts, similar to other state standards. We also incorporated P21's four C's for 21st century learning and Universal Design for Learning's guidelines that promote equity. After years of analyzing and synthesizing this research, we identified eight instructional best practices that are the backbone of the instructional framework. We know that effective lesson planning starts with backward design. So we used Wiggins and McTie's backward design framework to show how to create standards-based lessons by starting with the end in mind, then deciding on the evidence, and lastly, planning learning experiences. Backward planning ensures lessons are created with purpose and intention. We heard from teachers that they needed more training on this process, and the IF bridges the gap for teachers by showing how to apply backward design always starting with the end in mind. Expert curriculum writers equipped with this knowledge, research, and their own teaching experience developed grade-specific documents that apply this approach and show how all instruction is interconnected. The amount of learning standards that teachers need to cover in one school year can be quite overwhelming. That's why each grade level of the instructional framework starts with a standards overview document. This document takes all of the ELA standards for the school year and organizes them into four instructional units. The standards are intentionally emphasized in certain units based on developmental stages of learning, the overlap of specific skills, and thematic alignment. When used with backward planning, the standards overview document ensures that all standards will be taught and in the most efficient manner by the end of the school year. The unit overview document shows the specific standards and skills for the nine weeks taught during that unit. We also have a document called the unit at a glance. This breaks it down even further, suggesting a weekly breakdown of the standards and provides a scope and sequence for teaching them. Lastly, the handouts and assessments also model best practices by explicitly connecting learning to the standards and skills being taught.
The instructional framework bridges the gap in teacher prep. By providing examples of how to teach multiple standards in one lesson, while at the same time integrating best practices. To provide guidance on applying the best practices, we developed the instructional framework rubric, which provides clear criteria and performance levels for measuring how well the practices are being implemented. To ensure the rubric was also research informed, we crosswalked the indicators and look fors to the five top tools and frameworks in education mentioned earlier. The rubric can also be used in teacher prep programs to introduce each best practice and look for, to define their observable behaviors, and also as an assessment for learning during the class. The IF includes several model lessons, which provide concrete examples of what it looks like to integrate these practices to design research and standards-based lessons, addressing the gap in teacher prep. Close the gap in teacher prep by creating one course that shows how to apply standards-based instruction and multiple best practices simultaneously as described in the instructional framework. The eight best practice indicators seamlessly become the course objectives. By the end of the course, students will be able to actively reflect, use backward planning, create individual lesson objectives, differentiate lessons, understand and explain the context for learning, create, monitor, and use assessments, apply an understanding of the shifts in ELA with the Common Core, and promote students' real-world connection and application. We've saved the best for last. We went ahead and curated course materials that could be used in a teacher prep program and put them all in one place, the Instructional Framework website. Once you create a free account, you'll be able to access a section just for teacher prep programs. Each best practice indicator that's in the rubric and that is on the website is aligned to different resources, as you can see here with Indicator 5. It's matched to articles, pictures, videos, and also training materials that can be used to show each practice and what it looks like in action. In addition, we have the grade level documents that we mentioned earlier. Closing the gap in teacher prep programs will improve performance and increase equity. Because when every teacher is effectively prepared to plan and deliver standards-based instruction, all students will have the quality instruction they need in order to reach their full potential. This is the instructional framework. If you want to learn more about creating a new course or modifying a current course using the IF, go to the Instructional Framework website and complete the Contact Us form. You can also access the form by clicking on the link provided in this slide. Let's close the gap in teacher prep.